My name is Julien Wallet. I'm uh, finishing my Master's of Science in the Integrated Program in Neuroscience at McGill. Uh, my field of research is actually on the topic of uh, suicide prevention. I'm trying to develop a treatment for people who have uh, suicidal behavior. Yeah, I've personally dealt with depression and anxiety as a, uh, as a teenager also. I remember the uh, CJ6 executive. One of the reasons for that was also part of like me coming to terms and like be being better at managing social anxieties and all of that. I, I remember like I had such profound social anxiety um, when I was in, that, in my first year of uh, university. Like I could not go to any party and like I w at one point like I, w I think I went to a party and I stayed for like five minutes. I, w I couldn't. I was overwhelmed by uh, like what was uh, happening. There was just too much activity. It's kind of strange because I think when you're the most, you needed the most, you're least likely to seek help because you feel guilty, especially like when you're depressed, you feel guilty about not doing enough work, not like uh, helping enough people, not uh, being you know, the human being you would like to be. Uh, and you, you, if I felt like I need to do all of this and then I'll get help. Like I need to finish this assignment, I need to do, like, do this for PGSS, I need to do uh, this much work on my thesis and then, but you no, know, like it's, it's a pile of work that never, you can never get to the bottom of it. For me, I would not have gone to the clinic by myself, I would not have talked to anybody about, about my problem, but I like the diagnosis. So somehow to know that uh, I had something and that there was something to do about it made me hopeful that it could be treated. I think this might go some way to uh, help these people know that it's... If you want to improve, if you want to become closer to your, your idealized self, like, uh, it's better to seek help, I think. Because sometimes, like, your nature is not your best friend. Like, people who have anxieties tend to avoid the source of the anxiety, so they close in, they don't, like, uh, so suppose somebody has agoraphobia, they don't go outside. It makes the idea of outside even more frightening. Uh, there's like this reinforcement, so you have to kind of go in the other direction. You have to have the expectation that you will fail often, like sometimes you do something to confront an anxiety and it turns out it was this, an utter disaster, and you have to be prepared to fail repeatedly and then eventually like it, it improves. The, first, the person who noticed that I had such difficulties uh, at the time uh, was my father, so I, I was not sharing this with anybody, and he realized because that I was having difficulty from like what I was not saying and what I was hiding and what like so like I think m most people are, in their lives are so caught up with what they are doing and where they're going that it's hard for them to notice that, that others are not feeling well but he managed to do it well uh, and he got me help like right away I would not have been uh, diagnosed and I would not have had academic success, I would not have had like social success. I, I was never suicidal, but I would not have seeked help and therefore I would probably have just like, been utterly miserable. So for a long, 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 long time. But I'm, I'm surprisingly better now. Like, I, especially like I remember at the beginning of the year uh, when there were conflicts between executives, like I would like uh, take it very badly. And now there's still conflicts that are perhaps even more atrocious and I'm able to uh, brush them off. And I think in the end, it allows me to have a more rational approach to uh, interacting with people. Like I'm not, you know, criticism won't affect my self-esteem as much. Uh, surprising sometimes, like you put up with your difficulties for so long, they start, you start you know, take them out, not for granted, but like, think that nothing can be done about it and then you just like have to endure it. But I don't think life should be endured, it should be enjoyed. So yeah. As much as possible.